down just a little bit more. I'm gonna sit on the edge. Reasons we pick his first and last name. Last name together. He's not his first and last name, Girl, his middle name. Middle name, yeah. His first name and his middle name, reasons why we picked it. Um, I liked the name because it. when I was growing up, we always were a fan of Anne of Green Gables, and the little boy's name on Anne of Green Gables was named this name. And that's why I liked it, but then I liked it a lot more because of the meaning behind it. Um... The reason why we picked, why did we pick the middle name? This is my middle name. Um, so she wanted to name him Josh Jr., but I'm not about him being a junior because I kind of want him to be his own dude growing yeah. up. So we compromised, so he gets my middle name. So he's going to have Josh's middle name instead of first name. Um, but what I like about his name, like his name just together, it just seems like a very manly name it's very strong um i love the meaning behind his first name what do you like about the name like together bunch of different nicknames so we can go about whatever oh <laughs> yeah. tell them okay hold on let me fix the camera just a little bit kind of corner the main reason he likes his name is because of the nickname it has but it's also the name of the guy off like the nickname, his nickname would be the nickname off the guy off of Fast and Furious, Dom. Yep. So that's why he really likes his name. What are what do our family and friends think of his name? Um, I don't really know how your parents feel about his name. I think it's a good name. It's a, it's a really it's gonna be a really long name. So, um, it's a very strong name. It's not like. A short name so it's not going to be real easy on the tongue to say his name but I think our family and friends kind of like it because it's an older name and it's not a name that's been picked for a while it's not a common name um, so we're doing this kind of quick because I'm out of breath but his name is going to be Dominic Nathaniel Husky um, and the meaning behind his name, his first name, is of God. And that's why I liked it so much. I just thought the na the meaning of it was really unique. And it kind of went very well with Nathaniel. Because Nathaniel is a really long name. We could have picked a shorter first name, but I like Dominic Nathaniel Husky just because it kind of flowed better than some of the other names we were thinking about. Yep. What was some of the other names you were? You uh, liked some Bible names. Josh was a fan of a lot of the Bible names. Like like John and David. Um, some other ones. But. John Nathaniel Husky. I don't know how some of those would have tied real well with it. But I was already very set on Dominic being his first name. So that or Joshua. I knew that's what I wanted to name our son. So it was very hard for me to even think about any other names being a possibility. Um, what are our predictions about Baby Boy? So, what color hair do we think he will have? Brown hair. Definitely, it's gonna be. It's brown. very crazy because I'm blonde. Josh has brown hair. Our youngest daughter, Caroline, has brown hair, and she got like a dark brown hair. Yeah, our oldest daughter. Gwen has red hair. Mm -hmm. So this baby literally could have any color. He could come out having blonde hair, brown hair, red hair. Like, it's crazy. Um, I honestly think the same. I think he's going to take after Josh, and I think he will have brown hair. Um, how much do we think he'll weigh? Nine pound, five ounces. <laughs> he's going to be mean to me. <laughs> the thing is... It's, it's less than ten. Yeah. Ten would have been. My family, it might be ten, I don't know. So it could be. He he might be a big baby because he is getting big. I already measured like seven pounds. Yeah. Like two weeks out. I think at like thirty five weeks they told us he was already at like five something. Um yeah. weighing about five pounds. I was at like thirty two, thirty three weeks, he was already five pounds. Yeah, so it like thirty two weeks. The last few weeks of pregnancy it's they get they gain weight a lot faster, so 
Um, I think he will be, just because I'm trying to be nice to myself, hoping that he's not a huge baby, I'm hoping he'll be about 8 pounds, 11 ounces. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, I've been staying very active through this pregnancy. I have not been eating very good the last few weeks um, just because I feel like I'm craving a lot more food. But um, hopefully he won't be a huge baby. Whose nose do you think he'll have? I don't know. What nose do the girls have? I think both the girls have my nose, which is from the Jones side, my side of the family. But I don't think kids really grow into their nose until they're like a little bit older. Um, babies' noses are always just really cute and yeah, pudgy. Like, they're much. just really cute. Probably have your nose. I think so. Um, I don't know. Gwen or Caroline has she's starting to poke like a little, a little bit. Like, nose. Yeah, like his nose like kind of comes down in the front a little bit. I think she has his nose a little bit. Um, how tall will he be? So both girls were like, tw I think Caroline was like 20 inches and some change and Gwen was like 21, say 23. 23 inches long. Uh, yeah. He is very big. He's like, uh, when they did the ultrasound, his feet was like up in his face. That and was forever ago. He's he wrong, moves so. around a lot, and when he moves around, it looks like an alien moving around in my mm. stomach. It's very, very odd looking. So I think he is going to be pretty tall. Um, what did you say? You said 20 some? 21? 21 was how tall I think Girls were? Was. Yeah. Like they were about 21, 20 yeah. inches long. Um, All right, it might be shorter. But I, I doubt it. Probably it 23. You said 23? Mm hmm. That's pretty long, though. I say 22 inches long. I think he'll be 22 inches long. Now we're playing um, the Price is Right rules. Any over and no go. No, yeah. Oh. I don't know. We That's have very it. active kids, and like I said, most women say they experience less movement in the last few weeks of their pregnancy just because the baby's so big. No, he's been getting after. He is not. He is not quiet in there like barely ever. But when he moves, it's like a whole show. Like, he, it's crazy what my belly does. I'm surprised it can stretch that far. Um, and I don't remember either one of the girls ever being that active when they were babies. But we'll see. Um, what time do we think he will be born? So, Gwen was born at like 7, 18. And Caroline was born at like 11 at night. Yeah, so they're, they're both, both at night. So probably at night again. Yeah, it's both like 10 babies. 10 o'clock. I don't know. I think he'll be born early morning. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Depending on how long the labor is. Yeah. Because so he might go into labor at night and then just go into morning. Yeah. I think he'll be born like 3 or 4 in the morning is what I'm guessing. That'd be trash. It would be, but I feel like this baby's not going to be an easy labor. That's another prediction. I don't think this is going to be an easy labor. Nah, you'll just um, three if it is, man. If it is an easy labor, I would be very surprised. But with all the women in my family and like his mom and all the horror stories I've heard from giving birth to little boys, or not so little boys, Josh was a nine pound baby and he got stuck when he was a baby. Nine pound, 14 ounce. And yeah, like he about killed his mom like when she tried to give birth to him. So I'm not looking forward to the whole labor part of the experience. It's not going to be great, but. Um, three we pushes. Three pushes. <laughs> Actually, with both the girls, I think it was like. Yeah, it was only a couple pushes. With the both of the girls, I didn't push very long at Once all. Once I got you pushing it. You know, 10 minutes later, yeah. baby's out. Yeah. And Josh is not a great, not great when it comes to being at the hospital. He gets super tired. If, like, the longer I'm in labor, like, the least, the well, less. Well, it was like, always, like, in the middle of training or something, or I'd, like, get off of work and then you go into labor or something. Like, yeah. That is the bad thing. Every time I gave birth, like, it was always in the, well, with Gwen, I started, my water broke in the morning, and then... You didn't well, get back field. until later, and then I didn't give birth to her until like 7 in the evening. I didn't sleep for like two days. 
Yeah, and he was in the field like the whole week previous to giving birth yeah. to Gwen, so he was exhausted. And then with Caroline, you were, I think you were working like that whole week. Yeah, well, so we were prepping for JRTC, and then that hurricane came through, flooded out all the roads, and it oh, took yeah, me like two hours to, to get to work and back. Remember? Yeah. And, um, and you had to, like, had to go the long way around. I had to go the long way around, come get you, and then do the long way around to go back into the hospital because we still had the kiddo on post. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. It was just a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So, then they ended up canceling that JRTC for the, the flooding. Yeah. We're, that was a good thing because I definitely didn't want him to be gone. <laughs> We're actually facing the same thing this time, though. Um, just depending on when baby boy comes. Um, hopefully he decides to come like a little bit later so that way Josh doesn't have to go to training, but we'll see. That's all God's will. Yeah, we're just taking it day by day. We honestly thought he was going to come the week before last because yeah. I was having some contractions and stuff. Um, not just one day, I was having them like multiple days in a row and they were close together, but for some reason they just kind of stopped after having contractions for like a few days, it was the weirdest thing ever. But apparently there's like a name for it. It's like predominant labor or something. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but there's a specific name for it. It's like when you're actually like dilating, but not dilating to where you're like in um, no, you're labor. you're having labor. like labor contractions. You're having like contra real contractions, but they're not dilating you right. like fast enough and they're not getting progressively worse. So, um, they don't consider it active labor, labor, yep. so. Yep. They just sent me home, and I was really upset about it at first, but then I've kind of been grateful for it the past few days because with him, like, having to go to training, like, the longer I wait to go and, like, closer to his actual due date, which is February 14th, the closer I am to that due date will be better because then he wouldn't have to go to JRTC. And do all the training and stuff, so then he wouldn't have I'd to. So I'd probably have to go down. Just I don't know. yeah, yeah but just, it wouldn't be for like the whole period, probably. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, and hopefully, baby boy will come in the next week or so. Because I am 38 weeks this week, and besides having some cramps and stuff today, I don't have any other signs of going into labor. Um, but we're going to end the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, my next video hopefully will be us going into labor and we'll have that vlog up maybe next week if I go into labor this week. If not, I will have another video up, um, next Monday and then the next video will hopefully be the labor and delivery video. Um, I keep saying that. I'm, I, I guarantee you I'm probably going to end up being like a week overdue. Yeah, we'll see. I hope not. Because <laughs> I'm right? already hurting. He complain. He always is picking on me about waddling all over the house, and because I like to just lay in bed most of the time through the day, it's hard for me to get around right now. But I am staying active. I'm trying to do like three workouts, four workouts a week, just to try to get, um, like, stay moving and not hurt so bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.